that you have? Yeah. Find your own in here and compare it. What do you see that's different from this? What do you see? Do you see anything different from your little passage and the your and the paragraph here? Yeah. So you see that. Okay. I don't want you to read the difference. It's something that you see right away. So okay. It's this and that. Oh, there is difference. Okay. It's the shape of it. I want you to see the shape of it. Okay? Okay, what is different from the passage and the paragraph? You're missing later. I don't want you to read though. I want you to look at the shape of it. In the shape of it. There's what? <laughs> ah, okay. This one. All right. Can you describe it? What is that? Goja pointed out this one. There's the space in between, right? <laughs> Do you know what that's called? I found on them. Huh? And then, yeah. Those are the next things that we're going to talk about. The underlined words. So keep to it. Not right now. Mm -hmm. I'll come back to that. Okay? All right. So paragraph. This is not a paragraph. Mm -hmm. And this is paragraphs. Uh -huh. These are paragraphs. One, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why do you think this is not a paragraph? And this is in the form of it, the shape of it. So when you're writing a paragraph in American English, we usually put we usually start writing like this. Okay? And this is called the you don't have to know this. Indent. Okay? And and then we start another paragraph. We put another indent to let them know that we are we are starting another paragraph. In case you don't know, right? And even if you don't read it, you can find where the paragraphs are, right? Because it's so easy to find, right? Okay, so in paragraph B, indent it, indent the writing. And what's on the top? Titles. Title, yes, yeah, story of Matt, that's the title. And is it here? It's on the middle, right? And if you put your name, where would you put your name? Right side, over here, I think. Yep. Both of them actually works. Name, or I've seen some people who write name before title. So there's a, a lot of ways to write names, but it's usually on the side. And it usually comes before or after the title, not in the writing or at the end. Okay? It usually it's in the beginning. Okay? Alright. And if there's a page, there's the space around it, right? I'm not talking about the index, but there's the space. Those space are called margins, margins, okay? And when you start writing, 
in American writing, actually the index and margins are pretty important things. So I'm just letting you know. Okay? All right. Now, can, can I go on or? Yes? Okay. Now let's talk about the underlined words. What's underlined? One common thing about all, all the underlined words. And then, first, anyway, then, later, in fact, and then, and, and, and. <laughs> right? Or what are those? Skip the land. Okay. I heard another one. I heard conjunction. Are they conjunctions? Yeah. Are they all conjunctions though? No. Not all conjunctions. What else do you see? First. What is first? Those are, remember, those are called ordinal numbers. Like first, second, and so on and so forth. And is that all we see? Not really. We have a lot more. Just can you say read out the underlined words that's not conjunction or ordinal numbers? And then that's a conjunction. First is a ordinal number. Okay. Okay. In fact, okay. What else? Okay. And then, oh, I think that could be a conjunction. But then it's not a conjunction. Oh, later. Later, okay. But what kind of thing does these do? What does it do? What do all those words do in this paragraph? In this writing? Making time. Making time? Yes. Yes. Oh. These are all connecting words. And it's not. I told you that conjunction is used to connect things, but it's not only conjunction we use to connect words in a when writing. Right? Okay. And do you have your book with you?